So we can have rotational versions of some linear equations. Newton's second law, f equals ma. Um, that's expressed as f equals ma in this case anyway. Um, says that the force required to accelerate a particular mass um, is proportional, well the force used on a mass is proportional to its acceleration. Anyway, we can come up with a rotational equivalent. So rotational equivalent of force is torque. Rotational equivalent of mass is inertia. Rotational equivalent of linear acceleration is alpha. Okay, so exactly the same. If you increase the inertia by either increasing the mass or the radial distance of the mass distribution, um, you will then decrease the acceleration for the same torque, or um, you will uh, increase the torque required to get to the same acceleration. Okay, so that's Newton's second law. Um, angular momentum, we've got normal standard linear momentum as mass times velocity. Um, angular momentum is going to be symbol L equals inertia times the angular velocity, omega. And it's that easy. You just substitute things over directly. However, there is one uh, useful conversion uh, between uh, angular Velo uh, momentum, Ooh, you get tricky using these if you don't, uh, speaking about these if you don't uh, use them regularly. One conversion is that your standard momentum times by the radius that it applies at will equal to the angular momentum. So another way you could write that is MVR. An example of that is a bullet uh, being fired at a disc and the disc catches um, the bullet, so half of the bullet just goes in there, it hits it, and this is a way to to measure the velocity of the bullet. Okay, um, I think this is an example used in uh, Chris Rutter's writer notes for Year 13 Physics. Um, the, uh, so the, the bullet comes in, hits it, causes the disc to spin, um, so all of that momentum that the bullet initially had becomes angular momentum. So you take the velocity uh, of the bullet, times by the mass of the bullet to give it the momentum and you multiply it by the radius at which it hits and that will give you the angular momentum um, achieved um, by the disc. From that you can then rearrange because you know the radius, you know the mass, you know the angular momentum um, you can rearrange for V to find the velocity of the bullet and it's a very handy and easy way to work that out. So that's uh, Newton's second law in rotation and angular momentum.